What's up everyone? I'm Connor, this is my new puppy Fritz, and you're watching No Passport Needed, where I'm making a dish from every single country in the world. Today, we're going to Germany and making Bavarian pretzels with Obatsta. Yeah! Good boy! Bavarian pretzels are large soft pretzels with a light brown skin and soft pillowy insides. They take a little bit of time to rise, but should be easy enough to cover when you have a new puppy to deal with. <laughs> They're traditionally dipped in lye in order to get that quintessential color and skin on the outside, but we're going to use a method that uses baking soda instead. With our pretzels, we're going to make Obatsta, which is a camembert cheese and butter dip. Bavarian pretzels with Obatsta are one of the most common foods at Oktoberfest. I do want to point out that Oktoberfest is a strongly regional event in Munich in Bavaria, but there are lots of other regional dishes from elsewhere in the country. So I'll definitely have to come back to Germany at some point and make one of the many other delicious dishes from throughout the country. We'll touch on those at the end. Back to the pretzels we're making today, let's get to it. We're going to start off making our pretzel dough by pouring 125 milliliters of lukewarm water into a bowl with two teaspoons of sugar and one packet of yeast. Give it a mix and set aside to froth while we measure out 500 grams of flour in a large bowl. Add 50 grams of room temp butter, 3 teaspoons of baking powder, another 125 milliliters of water, and our yeast mixture. Mix with a dough hook for a few seconds before adding 1 teaspoon of salt. Continue to mix and knead for 12 to 15 minutes until combined and smooth. Cover and set aside to rise for about 1 hour. While the dough rises, let's make our Obitsta. The main ingredients here are camembert cheese, brie cheese, and butter. The camembert is definitely the star of the show here with a strong funky backbone. So we're going to start by chopping up each of these into smaller pieces and adding them to a bowl. Next, dice half an onion and add to our cheese mixture along with half a tablespoon paprika, a quarter teaspoon caraway, some SNP, as well as a quarter cup of German beer. I'm going for Wiehenstoffner's Fest beer here, but the beer is up to you. Remember, you are the Drew Brees to your German cheese. After that horrible Chef John impersonation, mash up the mixture with a fork to combine, cover, and refrigerate until ready to eat. Back to our risen dough, turn it out and give it a quick knead. Divide into six to eight pieces and roll out into a string about 15 inches long, making sure to keep it thicker in the middle. To form the pretzels, grab both ends, spin the center, and press the ends back into the middle, making a pretzel shape. It might take a couple of tries, but it's easier to form more slowly on the cutting board if needed. Next, we have a pot of boiling water and a parchment paper lined sheet pan. Add six tablespoons, oh god, six tablespoons of baking soda slowly to the pot. Slowly dip each pretzel into the pot for 5 to 10 seconds before removing to the pan and repeating for the remaining pretzels. Make a small slice across the thick part of each pretzel and let rise for 10 to 15 minutes. Sprinkle liberally with salt and add to a 395 Fahrenheit 200 Celsius oven for 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown. We're going to plate these up simply with the obasta on the side. All right, it smells amazing in here. I can't wait to dig into these pretzels. And these pretzels are delicious. They have a great flavor with a nice amount of salt and have nice pillowy, fluffy insides. I could have formed them a little larger so the holes didn't close up, but that doesn't impact how good these taste. Moving on to the obitsta, the camembert funk is definitely the star here. The butter and brie have a mild and creamy flavor, and the onion cuts through the fat of the butter and the cheese really well. The caraway has a light floral taste on top of that, and the mild beer lingers for a while after. I feel like this is missing just one thing. All right, we got some Fest beers. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Going with the Eyinger Fest beer today. Overall, I would absolutely make this again. What's not to love? It's tough to beat a combo of beer, cheese, and pretzels. So excuse me while I scarf down the rest of this plate. Perfect. 
Thanks for watching everyone. I really enjoyed the pretzels, but I mean, it was a pretzel, so what's not to love? Special shout out to the German subreddit for giving me some recipe ideas, as well as the idea for Obotsta. And additionally to my wife for dealing with some puppy outbursts while we were filming today. I'll definitely have to come back to Germany in the future because there are too many good foods from different regions to ignore. I really want to try out Currywurst, Weisswurst, uh, Rinderruhlauden, Schweißhaxe, I hope I'm saying that right, um, and a few other ones that I can't remember right now. So don't worry, we'll definitely be back. Let me know what you think or if you have any suggestions on other foods to try in the future. If you want to follow along and see where we go next, feel free to subscribe. Perfect. See you in the next one. Perfect.